Hello everybody, it is Amanda from Crafty Fit and today I have another um, off the board and I am using one of the kits that I put together for um, using some of Maggie Holmes stuff and it's almost the last little bit of this collection so I'm super excited to get this used up and so you guys saw um, before my little inspiration. I'm going to actually do two of them this way. So these two photos are going to be, one's going to be on one, one's going to be on another. And so I'm going to do them the same way so I can use up all of my stash. And then I'm going to just use a white cardstock on the back and um, for both of the layouts. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I have. And in this kit. Um, now I do have this right here. I have two of them. I think I just have to go find the other one. So I'm going to be adding them both to the same, like each page. So I have that. That's from Sunny Days. I am pulling over the same heat wave things in case I want to pull any of these titles. I think this would be a lot of fun to use. If not, I have one more gold one. So I was going to see if maybe I can use some of those as well. I also have some of these stickers that I want to try to use up. These are all from the collection as well, and I just basically put them on uh, a little piece of paper. So I want to try to use these up. I have this You and Me. I was going to see about cutting this out and maybe using this. I don't know. We will see. I do have these from Park Lane. These are photo corners, so I will be using the pink and the blue. I think they go really well with this collection. So one will have the pinks and one will have the blues. I think that will be really cute. And then I have a whole bunch of scraps, but I do also have this sheet right here. And this is a full sheet of um, like a sticker. So my plan is to pull this off and put it on this yellow and back my photo with that with this yellow so I think that would be really cool to use this whole sticker up and yeah get it out of my stash and then I have a whole bunch of different things from the collections and these little like cameras and stuff so I'm gonna try to use those up and then I have this sheet of paper from Maggie Holmes. I have a piece of this that I want to try to use up. And then this is a really, really thin paper. So I am going to see about using this as well for like matting and then maybe adding a few of the squares because I feel like it goes pretty well with this collection. So that is what I'm doing. Um, so I will be back and show you guys a little bit of process. I think I will show you guys, they're both going to be the same, so it really doesn't matter which photo I'm going to be doing. So we'll see um, what we do. Hey everyone, I am back and I am going to be putting this layout together. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And I am going to make probably two of these layouts just because I do have this for a family member as well so I am going to just kind of do that and so I'm hoping that this looks right when I put it all together <laughs> And there goes my paper again. And so I'm actually going to put the pieces together. I noticed that sometimes the one that is in the Pinterest board does not have them. So that's okay. I'm just doing it a little bit different because it'll all work out. Oh, and this thing is super squeaky. All right. So we're just going to line these up. And I really hope that this one
matches. Perfect. A little off there, but that's okay. Okay, so I actually took part of the paper and I tore it because I wanted something that was down here on this end. So I am going to be doing this the same for both of them. And it was just, it looked too, um, too bare down here. So I'm going to add this one down there and then I'm going to add this one <clears throat> and then I am just going to put like that okay and then I'm going to add a little strip up top here so I think I'm going to do the pink again underneath this one will be a little bit harder to do, but that'll be okay. I was going to just use liquid glue, but I think it'll all be on here. There we go. And if you guys hear fireworks in the background, it is the 4th of July. So it's super late, but that doesn't matter to some people. <laughs> I feel like the whole month of July, people are doing for, uh, fireworks, which is crazy, but it's fine. Um, okay, so I'm going to probably have to put some liquid adhesive on this one, just because it is super thin. So we're going to go ahead and add that to this layout. Oh strip of paper here. There we go. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to layer it on top of the pink. And I think it, it'll, it'll give it a, a good look. I mean, some of it is a little bit more than the other, but that's okay. Okay. So we have our layout done just about. Um, so I went ahead and I cut my photo out and I'm going to put it on the, uh, I put this on, this was a sticker. So literally I have a sticker sheet used up, which is awesome because sometimes I don't know how to use those huge stickers and I need to write the date out. So this was 820. Write the date on there or somewhere. As you can see, I use these for everything to write just so that way I remember. But if I don't, I can always look at my phone. And then I'm going to add some of these um, little photo corners to the sides of the photo corner the photo I think that's what I'm gonna do <clears throat> so I'm gonna do let's try this one there we go and we will try we'll do them on all four corners because I do want to use these up and I think it'll look really good with these on there. It'll definitely make the photo stand out. And I'm not, I don't really have photo corners that much. So I think it's pretty neat that I was able to get some. And I think um, with this order, I, my Joanne's order that I used, that I did a while ago, Oh, sorry guys, my phone is telling me I have 20 more percent. Um, anyways, with the 20 percent or the, with these, I bought like three of them. So I'm definitely using those up. Okay, so now we have our photo right there. 
um, I had to cut a little bit more of that off and I didn't want to just throw away the paper because it was so pretty. So I'm actually going to put it underneath here if I can. This might be a little bit harder than what I thought because this paper is really thin. There we go. Okay, so we'll do that one. And then we'll do another one. Down this way, just kind of underneath. The majority under these two, because I know I can lift these up. The pink one, it's another story. It's very, very thin. Okay. We have that. We have our photo right there, which is good. Then I am going to, I have my bow. I'm probably going to put right here. Somewhere over there. Okay. Um, and then I have some pieces that I want to add and I actually want to cut that out. going to hole punch it. This is going to be behind this photo. And then I just have like a whole bunch of different things that I want to add. So we're just going to go ahead and put everything down. Oh, and I'll need some of this too. I just want to kind of like put it off to the side. There we go. That works. And then like so. Oh, that looks perfect. Now the blues are a little off, but I'm okay with that because this blue right here actually matches a lot better. So I have just some stickers from the sticker sheet that I had. So I'm just going to add those. I probably will add my date right there. And I have my uh, bow and I'm gonna add right there. And underneath my bow, I'm actually going to add this little strip. Um, these are one of those like clear stickers. So we'll see if this works. <laughs> Um, okay, let's see if we can add this one underneath here. Oh, it's fine that it overlays. I kind of like that. Oh, I really like that. Okay, then I have a whole bunch of other stuff that I want to add. So in the photo or the inspiration, it had a whole bunch of words. And so I'm just actually, or journaling strips. I'm actually going to just use these and just kind of put them like staggered, kind of how it was in the photo or in the inspiration. So I have enjoy the ride because this is actually a photo. Um, we were on our way home. Um, so that was you know, home from vacation. And then I also have this relax and unplug that I want to add. So I'm going to put that kind of like there. And then I had this uh, live, laugh and love. And so I do want to add those to this sheet. And so I'll probably put live over there, laugh over here, kind of maybe that way, and then love down here. And then I have this bike that I'm going to just put right there. Oh, I have somebody waking up. <laughs> um, let me see. I might put 
I might do it just right there like that and then I might put like a bird right there I have these little um, gold birds that I'm going to add so I could do that right there and I'm going to do live let's see let's try to make this a little bit straight there we go so we'll do live right there might have to glue these down again and then laugh super cute and then we will do love next i'll just do love kind of over a little bit more and then I'm going to add this little bike on here. I think that turned out, that turned out really cute. Okay. And then I have this other bird that I'm actually going to add up here. And then I have another bird that I'm going to add down um, here. There we go. That works. Okay. So we're using up a lot of our stuff in this um, kit that I am super excited for using. Um, I do have another one over here that I'm going to be recreating and it's basically going to be the same exact thing. So um, I do have these cameras that I could fussy cut out. I was going to try to put one like underneath. <clears throat> maybe I could try to fussy cut this one out and see where it can go um, I'm doing like a fast fussy cut but that's okay not prepared Okay, let's see. Can we put it right there? Will that look right? And then put another one right there. I don't know, guys. What do you guys think? I think that might be too much. <clears throat> like, you know when it's just too much on a layout? Like, sometimes less is good. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave it alone. I might move my love up just a little bit because it just looks like it's kind of off. There we go. All right. I think I'm going to call this one done. So we definitely followed the sketch um, pretty, pretty closely. I think the only thing we did was kind of add our own little take on things like the banner up here and down here and then the journaling. So... I think it turned out cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this process video. Don't forget to look at everybody down below, see who is all joining in. Some people are joining in every day, some are not. So um, go check them out for some more inspiration and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. So I figured, I'm sorry, you guys will hear fireworks. I figured I would give you guys an overview of what the second one looked like um, and turned out. It's super simple, super easy. I basically just did the same design. I used some of those words and yeah, that's really it. So I did use one of the cameras, which is nice. Um, and they basically, they look the same. So a little different, but still the same thing. So pretty excited that I was able to get two layouts done with one um, kit and I still have some things left over from the kit so I have this you and me and then all of these are gonna go into my scrap bin I'm actually gonna probably put that in there too um, I also have basically I used which I am super glad that I was able to use a sticker sheet from that collection so that is really really fun 
I still have some cameras that I can put back in my cut aparts. I still have this coral reef thing I was gonna use. And then I still have four photo corners. And so um, I will put those back into my stash. But I thought the, you know, using two sets of them turned out really, really good. So that is it. I still have, <clears throat> I still have some of these left over. So, um, I'm happy that I was able to use some of these up and get some of these used. So I will put those back away. And that's it guys. I have, that's really it from this paper kit. Like it's super, super easy. So, um, like I said, go down and watch everybody else's videos. Um, and I will be back and also leave any questions, comments, anything down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.